The sorrow of the COVID-19 pandemic may seem to have passed for many, but for some, the shadows linger. In China, the name Dr. Li Wenliang is often remembered and revered. He was the whistleblower who first alerted his colleagues about the presence of a novel coronavirus, urging precaution. Subsequently, the Chinese government reprimanded him for spreading rumors, missing critical early opportunities for prevention. Tragically, Dr. Li Wenliang later succumbed to the virus himself, a fate that only deepened the poignancy of his story. Today, however, I would like to introduce another figure, a virologist whose name might not be as well known as Li Wenliang's, but whose contributions to understanding and combating the virus far exceeded those of the late doctor. Zhang Yangzhen and his team at the Shanghai Public Health Center were the first in the world to publish the full genomic sequence of the novel coronavirus on January 11, 2020. This act of transparency provided a critical foundation for global scientific efforts in developing diagnostic tests, treatments, and vaccines, catalyzing the international response to the pandemic. Despite the benefits to global health, Zhang's decision to release the genome without prior authorization from Chinese authorities resulted in significant personal and professional repercussions. Before the public release, Zhang had internally warned Chinese officials about the virus's potential for widespread transmission. However, his laboratory was abruptly shut down by health authorities the day after he shared these concerns internally and before he went public with the genome sequence. The release of the sequence also sparked international acclaim, but led to intensified scrutiny and sanctions against him and his laboratory by Chinese authorities. Zhang's collaborator, Edward Holmes from the University of Sydney, noted that this move led to additional oversight of Zhang's lab and ultimately his dismissal from the China CDC. His past collaborative projects were also banned, significantly impacting his ongoing research endeavors. The authorities' response may have been driven by multiple factors. There was likely concern over revealing that the virus originated in China, as well as reluctance to allow independent tracing of the virus's origins, which could suggest a zoonotic transfer from animals to humans at local markets. Both of these implications could have led to domestic and international backlash against Chinese handling of the outbreak. In the years following the outbreak, Zhang faced continued challenges. His official employment status was not resolved, leading to gaps in his social security benefits and access to medical insurance. This lack of support was particularly poignant as Zhang, who had undergone thyroid cancer surgery in 2009 and suffered from severe varicose veins, struggled with ongoing health issues without adequate medical coverage. Despite the personal and professional challenges, Zhang's decision to release the virus's genomic sequence underscored his commitment to global public health over personal or national interests. His willingness to share crucial data facilitated a swift global reaction, including the development of rapid testing methods and the acceleration of vaccine production. Zhang Yangzhen's actions exemplify the crucial role of openness and collaboration in addressing global health crises. His contributions, though costly to him personally and professionally, have been instrumental in shaping the global response to one of the most significant public health challenges of the century. His legacy highlights the essential balance between national interests and global welfare, marking him as a pivotal figure in the ongoing battle against infectious diseases. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like.